Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial examinations. My name is Krzysztof Astaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our actuarial students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. This is the problem um, number four from multiple choice section of the last uh, course MLC examination. For an annuity due that pays 100 at the beginning of each year that 45 year old is alive you are given that mortality for standard lives follows the illustrative life table. The force of mortality for standard lives aged 45 plus t is represented by mu with a subscript ILT standing for illustrative life table uh, at age 45 plus t. So that's the force of mortality again. Uh, the force of mortality for substandard lives age 45 plus t uh, with superscript S indicating substandard lives is defined as the force of mortality f from the illustrative life table plus 0 0.05 for time t between 0 and 1. That means for the year of life between ages 45 and 46. And then beyond age 46, uh, this reverts to the force of mortality in the illustrative life table. The interest rate is 6%, which is the same as in the illustrative life table, uh, so we don't have to worry about reading the entries from the table. We can use them as long as we know that illustrative life table mortality applies. And our job is to calculate the actual present value of this annuity for a substandard life age 45. So the formula for the substandard force of mortality tells us that the force is different only during the first year, the year of life from age 45 to age 46. And that means that for the substandard life at age 46, we can write that um, life annuity. We want to calculate actually a life annuity of 100 per year, but let's just write the annuity per unit so unit annuity for now, a double dot annuity due at age 45 on substandard life, that's 1 paid at exact age 45 plus given survival for one year. After one year this will become a regular life annuity due based on the illustrative life table. But this survival in the first year is subject to mortality that is substandard, described by that substandard force of mortality formula between ages 45 and 46. So we will need to figure out that probability of survival under that higher force of mortality. Based on the information about the force of mortality, we can actually calculate that probability of survival as e to the minus integral from 0 to 1 of the force of mortality, which is the illustrative life table force of mortality plus 0.05. Well, that plus 0.05, that's a constant, so is the integral of a sum which is equal to the sum of integrals. The integral of 0.05 from 0 to 1 is just 0.05. So this will be equal to e to the minus 0.05 uh, minus uh, um, the integral from 0 to 1 of the uh, force for illustrative life table. And then we can just uh, then write this as e to the minus 0 0.05 times e to the uh, minus integral from 0 to 1 of the force of mortality under the illustrative life table. But then this expression that we have here, um, e to the minus integral from 0 to 1 of the force of mortality in the illustrative life table, and that's simply the probability of survival uh, from age 45 to age 46 under the um, 
force of mortality that rules in the illustrative life table, and we can calculate that probability of survival as simply the um, size of the population at age 46 divided by the size of the population at age 45 from the illustrative life table. So we plug that in, and this is what we get. At this point, I'm not going to calculate it because we'll just plug it into the annuity formula, and then we'll just calculate it. The annuity at age 46 in the table is given as 13.95459. Uh, so we plug it all in, and we get approximately 13.472618. But the annuity in the problem is not a unit, and it's an annuity of 1. So to get the answer f for the problem, we need to multiply this by 100, and uh, therefore we get... Uh, 1347.2618, uh, that's answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries and belongs to a Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Well, good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.